Hi guys, good morning. I wanted to make a what I eat in a day video. I haven't made a YouTube video in a really long time, but I thought this would be a good time to make one of these videos because I am pregnant. I'm 26 weeks and I've learned a lot in the last couple months about nourishing my body in a way that I'd never had before and I'm really excited to share some things that I've learned and also just like talk about all things pregnancy, all things taking nourishing your body while you're carrying a baby. So let's get into it. cup of water I used to do lemon water in the morning but since being pregnant on an empty stomach I get very easily nauseous from too much citrus um, so I still wanted to be intentional about the first thing I put in my stomach and this is a rapid immune boost since COVID I've been really trying to be diligent about my immune system since I'm immune compromised because of being pregnant this has amazing ingredients in it. It has echinacea root, um, horseradish, horseradish root, golden seal, which is incredible for your body, um, black elderflower, a bunch of other really amazing things. Um, my old roommate turned me on to it and I have been drinking it, including it into my diet religiously. Um, it is kind of gross. Um, not gonna lie, it doesn't taste good, but it's good for me, and I definitely have to felt a difference. I have more energy in the morning, and I get going. I got this at a co-op, um, so I'm sure you could find. Actually, I think I got it from Whole Foods. So, hey, Paul. What's up, girl? <laughs> he has an early morning, so he is getting started for the day and headed out the door. But we're gonna go change and work out. I just got done with my workout. Oh my gosh, I'm so flushed. And I'm gonna make some breakfast. I try to eat intuitively based on what my body is feeling like it needs. I'm gonna make my favorite smoothie. So let's get into it. So for this smoothie, I'm starting off with some frozen blueberries, a couple handfuls of fresh spinach, about two tablespoons of flaxseed, a tablespoon of cacao powder, some protein. I love this Airborne vanilla protein, it's amazing. Vital Proteins collagen, about a couple handfuls of roasted hazelnuts, some oat milk, and I'm gonna go ahead and blend away. So while I am enjoying my smoothie, I just wanted to take some time to talk about pregnancy in general and health. Um, I think a lot of misconceptions around pregnancy is that once you get pregnant, it's kind of a free-for-all and you can just kind of eat whatever you want to eat. I think while it's important to indulge and enjoy your pregnancy, it's also really important to maintain your health because it only makes your health getting back to being healthy postpartum that much harder if you've created like hard habits to break whether that's sugar or overeating carbs my first trimester i could not eat anything but bread 
like toast, pancakes, I just wanted bagels, pasta, macaroni and cheese. That is a very short time period. It's just your first trimester and it does feel like it's gonna be a long time, but once your second, tr second trimester hits, you may still have like nausea and whatnot, but you tend to have more energy and you tend to be able to take care of your body a little better because your energy starts coming back. Really, it's about just making sure that you are staying on top of your health and it's the most important time in your life to take care of yourself and take care of your body because you're not just taking care of yourself, you're maintaining a life and that's super important and super important to prioritize. So I hope this encourages you and also gives you a healthy perspective as to how to approach your diet, your daily diet um, and nutrition when it comes to pregnancy. Before I start my day, I'm gonna hop into the shower I love putting a couple drops of this Boost Blend by Vittori. It has grapefruit in it, which really helps me wake up in the morning. Next, I'm gonna be doing my skincare routine. I have a very simple skincare routine, and here are some of my favorite products I use every morning. Okay, so I just finished getting ready. I am going to use this um, CBD oil. It is edible CBD oil and it's vanilla avocado by Remedy. And it has 750 milligrams. Um, a lot of people have asked me whether CBD is safe for baby. Um, it depends on who you talk to. There's not a ton of research around it. I've heard amazing things just from people that I respect that it's actually super good for your body and for your baby. So I take it. That is what I do. I um, take one dropper. I have it under my tongue for 30 seconds. I'm starting to pop out of this jumpsuit and all my clothes for that matter. Um, so my husband and I, Christmas is on Thursday, and my husband and I are going to go do some last minute shopping. Um, we are going to go to Ikea, pick up some frames. I think we might go to Target, if I have anything to do with it, because I love Target. And then, um, we might go thrifting. Paul, my husband, and I love thrifting, and... Oh, he's honking at me. He's so annoyed because I took so long to get ready this morning. Okay, so after 
we get back, I'm gonna make an amazing lunch, a nourish bowl, um, so stay tuned. For lunch, I'm gonna start by cutting up a red bell pepper and some small cucumbers. Next, I'm gonna make a vinaigrette with some sesame oil, some soy sauce, some rice vinegar, which adds a nice little tang, a little bit of garlic powder, some cracked pepper. Next, I'm gonna take half a lime and squeeze that into my dressing. I have some leftover quinoa that I'm gonna put into the microwave and warm up. So we'll start with some spinach on the bottom. I have some chopped up red cabbage and I'm going to put on the heated up quinoa and finish off with the veggies I sliced. I soaked some frozen edamame with some hot water and I'm gonna put that on top for a little bit of protein. Then I will top my grain bowl with my dressing. I will top a little bit of nutritional yeast and some sesame seeds on top. It's essentially like a decomposed sushi bowl. Um, the soy sauce and the rice vinaigrette really gives it a tangy taste and there's tons and tons of veggies obviously in it. Quinoa, um, you can also substitute rice, but quinoa, ha quinoa has um, protein in it, um, which is a plus for me. And then I also put in edamame, which is a plus. So I was just gonna say, what I like about this bowl is that you can make it no matter what vegetables you have in the fridge. I just happen to have this particular combo, but kale, tomatoes, zucchini, whatever you want to put in here that's nutritious and vegetable wise, um, it really tastes good and it's really the sauce that makes it taste like sushi. My brother is messing with me. If you want to meet my dog, this is Cypress. He's my shadow. He really wants to go on a W-A-L-K. And my brother already dropped that word just to make him get excited. So after this, I think I'm gonna have to go take him on a walk. Probably should anyways. Hi guys, so it is almost six o'clock and I'm gonna go ahead and start dinner. Uh, I had a lot of things to finish up after I took Cypress on his walk. Um, so I'm gonna go downstairs and get started on dinner. But before I do, I wanna talk a little bit about what I'm gonna make. I am making a low carb shepherd's pie off of the Real Food for Pregnancy by Lily Nicholas and I've made this a couple times and every single time I kind of change it up a little bit based on what I'm feeling, um, what I have in my fridge. It calls for a cauliflower crust, but we're gonna make a regular dough crust. The key ingredient that is different um, for this that's very um, important for pregnancy is that it includes um, liver. If you do your research on liver, it is super nutrient dense, um, super vitamin dense, super iron dense. So let's go ahead and go downstairs and get started on dinner. For dinner, I will start with a tablespoon of coconut oil and I'm gonna add the ground beef and pate to my pan. Ground beef tends to be a bit tougher, so I'm going to make sure to really chop it up into as small pieces as I can. Then I will add in the pate and do the same to the pate to make sure it really blends well in with the ground beef. I'm gonna set aside this ground beef mixture and go ahead and start on chopping some veggies. I'm gonna mince some garlic here. Then I'm gonna cut up a onion. I'm gonna slice some celery into little pieces. Next, I'm going to peel some carrots and chop them up. When I'm done cutting up the veggies, I'm going to saute them with some butter in the pan 
and I'm just gonna go ahead and put the entire veggie mixture in all together. I'm gonna season it with some cracked pepper and a little bit of kosher salt. I'm going to saute this until all the veggies are softened. Next, we're gonna make the crust. I am gonna start with two and a half cups of organic all-purpose white flour. Then I will chop in some cold butter into little pieces and slowly add them to the flour mixture. If you have a blender or some type of food processor, um, this would be a perfect time to use it. I do not, so I'm gonna be doing everything by hand. I added a little bit of salt and some cold water and I'm going to mix this mixture up until I get a nice flaky dough. I'm going to knead it out and take my rolling pin and flatten out the dough. You wanna make sure that your dough is large enough to fit over your pie pan. Next, I'm gonna take a pie platter and put in the ground beef and veggie mixture and top it off with the pie crust. Now it is ready to go into the oven and I'm gonna cook this for about 40 minutes on 375 to 400 degrees Fahrenheit. Got a little crumbly on the side. Ooh, whoa, look at that steam. Oh my God. So much steam. So we just finished dinner, and what was oh man the verdict? Well, my mom made uh, chicken pot pie growing up, and Sammy made was it beef pot pie? Yeah. Um, it was good. <laughs> no, it was good. Sammy could open up a restaurant. <laughs> I don't know if I'd go that far. <clears throat> but the good news is neither of the guys even knew that there was pate in there or even commented what? on the taste. And I don't even know what that means. if you pair pate with or liver with some type of ground beef, it's so much easier to cover up the taste. Mm. And you're still getting in your nutrients. Um, we are probably going to have some dessert now. Christmas is on Thursday. So we're going to... We made a ton of Christmas cookies. My brother is concerned about the pate. <laughs> he goes, you put pate. It's liver. Yeah, it'll, it'll kill you. It kills you? No, it's... It has a ton of really great dense nutrients in it <clears throat> that are that are that's helpful for um, pregnancy. Merry Christmas! Merry Christmas! So uh, yeah, we're, I'm gonna have um, some Christmas cookies tonight, probably for dessert. Um, I love dessert. I love something sweet at the end of the day. Sometimes I will do um, try to do something like healthier, like um, <laughs> like like a bowl of like cereal, like healthy cereal, or... Um, what? You've eaten ice cream. I haven't eaten ice cream in like three months. I don't know, I don't really care, crave ice cream. <laughs> it's like too sweet for me. Or some type of chocolate usually is what I'll go for. Um, I've been loving the RX bars, the chocolate chip bars, um, because it has dates in it, which is like a natural sugar chocolate, which is sweet, and like sea salt and peanut butter, it's so, so, so good. Um, and I like having that, I've, lately I've been having that for dessert. So yeah, this is a day in my life. And thanks for Peace. watching. <clears throat> thanks for watching. Um, if you like this video, please let me know because I'd love to like continue to film videos like this if uh, they're interesting or helpful for anyone. Um, thank you so much for watching, please subscribe. And we'll see you guys later. Bye. Bye from Myla. Oh, damn. <laughs> Cut to the bloopers. <laughs> this is our little baby. Baby girl. She's coming in March. 
Can't wait. And this is our Cypress. Our little baby. Mommy. Our firstborn. Too big. Okay. Thanks for watching. Bye.